very briefly, what was the political situation in Italy at that time? Well, it's a very tense political situation in Italy. We're talking about the time of the Risorgimento, the movement to unify Italy. Italy at the time was a patchwork of different duchies and kingdoms. And in the middle uh, was a swath of territory that ran from Rome up through Bologna under the control of the Pope as it had been more or less for a thousand years as the papal states and uh, the Pope ruled as the so-called Pope King. Uh, but there was, had been attempts to unify all of Italy in 1848. There were revolutions, which among other things drove the Pope out of Rome uh, for over a year as uh, briefly the Papal States fell, but then he, the French troops brought him back to power. Uh, so it was a, a kind of a tense situation. At the same time, uh, Jews had been um, confined in the Papal States, had been confined to ghettos uh, back from the 16th century, they had briefly been liberated under Napoleon when Napoleon took over Italy in the uh, late 18th century, and early 19th century. Uh, and so uh, the Jewish community in the Papal States was uh, under the, the Pope's thumb. On the other hand, you had, after the revolutions of 1848, the first kind of liberated Jewish community, which was in the northwest of Italy, in the Savoyard Kingdom, uh, and that would also prove important to, to this case, as we'll talk about. 